Oh snap! Look at this! I don't have sheet music, but was given a crappy, crappy scan of music that I need to play. I have spent way too much time trying to figure out how to make this just a little bit more readable, and I am going to share my secrets with you. We are going to straighten these pages, we are going to make them uh, print far more clearly and waste less ink. So stay tuned right now. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this website that I just found that I do not work for and that could end up charging money tomorrow but as of today is totally free. Uh, it's called pdfescape.com uh, and it's a great escape from more important things that you should be working on right now rather than sharing tips about PDFs. So you go to choose file and you find your PDF and it's going to take a little bit of time to upload the PDF. In my case it looks like it will be, I don't know if it can't decide between 20 or 18 seconds. So as we count down we can think about how excited we are to be learning a new skill on the computer and how grateful we are to Scott Alexander for showing us uh, his amazing tricks that he has neglected other important parts of his life in order to do. All right, so we finished uploading and now here it is, our PDF. Okay, um, so what you want to do is go over here and go to the page tab, boom, and here you want to click on more. Uh-huh. This is our friend here. It's called DSKU. I select DSKU and then I'm going to click and drag a line across one of my slanted lines of music and release and it's going to say DSKU page, negative 2.07 degrees. Okay, boom, and it is DSKUed. Let's just do that one more time on another page. I'm going to click in the page tab, DSKU, click and drag. You can do this anywhere on the page, but why not just use the top line of music? And when I release, DSKU 2.36 degrees, okay, and boom. Now you could print it right now from this little print box here, but I'm gonna make it even better for printing in just a quick couple steps. Um, so I wanna download it, and that's what this button is for. And I've now downloaded Crappy Scan. Okay, so um, I, I think it's better to sort of work on this one page at a time. The first thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of as much of these pencil markings and just all the dark shadows that's going to waste a ton of ink if I can. If you're using Preview on Mac, you unfortunately cannot adjust the color of a PDF. Oh, crap, what am I going to do? You're going to go to File, and you're going to Export, and it's going to ask you what format you want to export at. If, I'm sorry, it's going to ask you what format you want to export in, although it doesn't actually use uh, prepositions whatsoever. So you're going to choose TIFF. I leave this crap alone. I can say shit. I leave this shit alone. Maybe you could, maybe you'd want to increase that resolution. I don't know, whatever. And save. So now, I'm going to find my TIFF document, and here it is. I open the TIFF document, and I can now adjust color. I, I find it better to do this one page at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of my saturation, essentially turning it grayscale. That'll save some ink if you foolishly print in color. Um, but I still have lots of like just like crease lines and pencil markings and stuff. So what I'm going to do now is increase the contrast probably all the way up. Although I want to look carefully because sometimes something like a grace note or something can disappear when this happens. But it does not look like the case here. The same can go for trying to sharpen the image. Um, it, it can sometimes make it a little bit more readable. Here, let me zoom in on the image here. Um, if I sharpen, let's see what happens to this line here. Anything? Eh, 
I don't know if that would actually print better or worse. Um, but maybe maybe something in between. Sure, why not? Okay, Scott, what's next? Um, what we can also do to try to get rid of a little bit more of the just sort of gunk on the page is, I'm sorry, I want to go back to adjust color, and increase the exposure. Because if I increase the exposure, more of those pencil lines are going to go away. And it looks like my, my music, the black and white that I want, is still there nice and crisp. Are we ready to print? Hell no! We want to make this music more readable, and one way we can do that is to make um, it so that our printer only prints the part of the page we want. So what we want to do is make sure that we have rectangular selection selected in tools. Um, again, you can probably do this on Acrobat or whatever your PDF program is. And we're essentially going to crop this as tight as possible around the actual music. Okay. And to crop, oh, it has a button there. You can also go to Tools, Crop, or Command-K, whichever is your preferred method of going hiya. Now we've cropped. So that when we now try to print this, you've probably noticed this before, but uh, in the dialog, at least on a Mac computer, you're given an option. You can scale it. You can scale it to print the entire image, and here's a preview. Or you can fill the entire paper. Uh, here's a preview of that. Looks like the difference, huh, in this case, it's increasing it to 108% regardless. Sometimes the two options will give you a slightly different increase. But if we hadn't scaled it, then we're not really taking full advantage of our cropping. Made the music just a little bit more readable. Uh, and every bit of readable helps. So you can print it like this. Now, if you don't want to print it right away and you want to keep or you want to keep it as a PDF, you can print to PDF like that. Or you can go export as PDF. You've got options, yo. That's the important thing. I hope that you find this helpful. I will cherish using these techniques for as long as they are free. Bye.